We've seen plenty of influencers rise to fame and then completely change their entire lives by accumulating millions of dollars and changing their lifestyle by publishing their lifestyle to millions of people. But not all stories end well, and oftentimes on this channel we talk about stories that have ended less than well, in fact, really fucking bad. And today we're talking about one such figure you may have heard of. His name is Daddy Aioli, with his real alias being Joshua Guerrero. Now, if you follow fitness TikTok, which to be honest, I am very far detached from, you will probably have seen Daddy Aioli once or twice within your feed. He's built a huge following, and I mean over 3 million TikTok subscribers or followers or whatever you call those shitheads, and a ton of Instagram followers, like 2.1 million in that realm. I mean, the dude is the whole deal, sells fitness programs and all, with his specific program targeting those anime boys, get everything you need to build a big, ripped, imposing physique in record time for a cheap price of $21 per month. You'll get gym routines, volume and definition plans, supplement guides, food guides, live gym sessions, live questions and answers, fundamentals of motivation, a commitment to brotherhood, direct interaction with me, and much more. Secure your spot now. The guy has the looks, the body, the physique, all of it. And he wasn't shy about using gear, or what we call anabolic steroids, either. He's also partying very commonly within his public profiles and flashing a lifestyle that many of you wish you likely had. Who would myself. I mean, a Lamborghini Urus wouldn't be bad to have here and there. But obviously, young fans are going to see this and envy the dude. They're going to idolize this individual as influencers tend to do. They influence people. Sounds pretty familiar to what we've seen before. And just like the others we've discussed before, there is clearly a darker side to him. Would be awesome if I could just end the story here and leave it as it is. But of course, he has done some horrible things beneath the surface and facade of social media. In 2022, a video had surface that shocked his followers completely. And we're talking about some serious fucking animal abuse. I mean, horrible stuff. And I'm no crazy guy about animals. I'm not trying to preach animal rights here, but what I do care about is a pet. I mean, seriously, cats and dogs are my lifeline. I have a service dog. She goes with me all over the world. I can't imagine someone even coming close to abusing this animal, let alone a cat. He was shown hitting a cat multiple times, grabbing it by its neck, and not just like the scruff, like the whole neck, then throwing the cat as he simultaneously kicks the cat and then punching it in the face several times. <laughs> People who once idolized the man now suddenly became disgusted in his actions, and during that time he had many different sponsors, one of which being Young LA and then another one being a supplement sponsor. I believe it was called Dragon Pharma. Even worse, this wasn't new behavior. At this point, people started to dig into his past and found many people claiming that this was something that he has done before. The cat that he was shown to be abusing could have been submitted to other harmful events, such as being force-fed supplements, for instance. This kind of behavior in the United States has massive backlash. There's no doubt about that, but in the country that he's from, it's a little bit different. However, the brands that were sponsoring him started to catch some backlash and then cut ties with Aoli. Several brands, like I mentioned, Young LA, dropped him immediately. Well, good morning. Yes, people. I know you know I love animals and that, and people have sent me the video of that, what's his name, Daddy something, with the cat abuse where it looks like choking a cat, punching a cat, then going to kick it. And he's sponsored by Young LA. I know people have sent me the videos. I sent it to Dave and Dave said it's taken out of context, but I don't know what that means. Is it him punching the cat, choking the cat, going to kick the cat? It looks like it, but until we look deeper into it, I'm not too sure. But if you want to check it out, check it out and see what you think. But if it is him, pretty disgusting and anyone that would sponsor somebody that does that is pretty pathetic also. But we'll wait till we get more information on it. But I have seen the YouTube clip, so go watch it and see what you think. Daddy Aioli tried to defend himself in a video saying that the video was old and taken out of context. He claimed that investigations had cleared him and that he had to seek psychiatric help and there wasn't much to say after that footage because it was so old. Now as an 
influencer who was showing a lifestyle of, to be honest, being belligerent, gear and partying and all of that, his trust was a bit shaky amongst the community. Combining a lifestyle with hardcore steroids and abusing alcohol really leads to some less than favorable results as we've seen on this channel many times before and I think a lot of people started to catch on to this fact. These substances mess with your mood and can cause consequentially architectural changes within your brain. It's a really huge risk factor of using steroids. Now, I will say that most people can use steroids and be just fine and these things won't happen, but individuals who have a predisposition to violence or any other kind of mood disorder will certainly develop larger and more amplified problems with the use of anabolic steroids. Even further yet, if they combine the use of anabolic steroids with some sort of compound like alcohol or ethanol or other pharmaceutical drugs that are not necessarily anabolic steroids. People who dive into this lifestyle soon find themselves slipping before they know it. I often think of this caricature as Connor Murphy. He was generally an amazing fitness influencer and fitness model way back in the early 2000s and then he transformed after coming out and trying to claim that he was natural but then losing his hair and shrinking very low. <laughs> the dude lost like 40 fucking pounds trying to save his hair so it was very obvious he was on gear and then he started dabbling with hallucinogens all sorts of crazy shit and now he's in a position where he probably caused a murder which we've talked about on this channel as well like these dudes are brain degenerate maxing like, like not even kidding like they're trying to deform their brain as quickly as humanly possible i don't know why that's important for people but it seems like that is the prerogative for most people in my age bracket for some reason i don't know but he's a guy who had all the tools to succeed i mean millions of followers subscribers i mean 235,000 subscribers on YouTube and literally could have made millions of dollars just by publishing simple content like his training program and actually being a good guy behind it and goes around publishing videos of himself doing stupid shit and especially abusing animals. But there's a big lesson here that no matter how many followers you have, there is going to be consequences to actions that don't align with morality. But what makes it even worse and the reason that I wanted to talk about it again and sort of uncover it from the archives of social media is Danny Aioli has been seen wearing young LA and as of lately he has actually published them in his bio on Instagram with a sponsored code for a discount meaning that he has now become an athlete with them again as well Dragon Pharma the supplement company that sponsored him as well is also sponsoring him again and it seems as if these companies can't deny that he makes them money in demographics that they can't typically reach such as the Spaniards that want to get products like young LA or supplements and he can reach them he has 2.1 million subscribers or followers or whatever on just Instagram alone. He can make some money for these people and flip some products and they like that. But going against the idea that morality matters more than income is really important when you're a business looking into longevity, a business that's looking into lasting more than just the average rug pull flip. It's, it's just bullshit, right? As a business owner myself, I wouldn't want an ambassador who has videos circulating the internet of him abusing animals. That's not an image I want to be associated with my business, nor is it something that I believe in. And to once have dropped the athlete and then now to have sponsored him again because he makes you money, but the reason you had dropped him was because he was abusing animals and now suddenly that's just been sweeped under the rug is kind of fucking crazy. And Young LA has been up to some really scandalous shit lately and I think this just adds on top of it and it's highly unfortunate. Daddy Aioli, you are a fucking animal abuser and there's nothing that can stop you from being that forever as these videos have been published and I'd like to remind everyone animal abusers are most correlated with serial killers or rapists or people who do other horrible things to other human beings mixing anabolic steroids alcohol and party drugs in with a bit of animal abuse leads to some horrible shit I have no doubt keep your eye out on this one because I'm sure there's more to come at some point in time <laughs>